Hey there guys, it is Makimon, and today I will be doing a building tutorial showing you a little bit of how I build in the field. I'm going to be building Zubat today and showing you how I do that with a little commentary, hopefully to help you out at home when building your own Zubat. So uh, let me go ahead and start. And what I'm going to do before I start is find a reference picture. So when I'm building Pokemon, I usually go ahead and find a picture to look off of. I do this for some of my other builds as well. It's always helpful. I don't build from the exact thing, but I like to take inspiration. So now that I have that, let me go ahead and pick out my brick. I think I'm going to use this one. And uh, this is going to be my Zubat body and the main use, uh, or the main brick I'm going to use for the Zubat. Um, let me check the color. Okay. Alright, so that's what I'm going to use for the color. And uh, this is going to be the head and the body. And let me go ahead and make the mouth next. Alright, pull that forward. And then make kind of an interesting shape. I may keep that. I don't know yet. I don't know if I like it. But I'll leave it for now. Let me give him a bit of an outline to the mouth to make his mouth pop just a little bit more. Not the same color outline, but um, just a little darker or lighter. Uh, so it gives it some personality. Now, um, let me go ahead and make the ears next, and uh, let's push this over here, and give them, it kind of reminds me of a cat ear. I've never actually seen a real bat, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of a cat ear. So, uh, there's his ear, and inside his ear he has this pink tint to it, or this purplish tint. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, okay, so he has a purple tint to it. Let me go ahead and find the right color purple. And it looks like that looks right. And inside that purple, he has like a shadow. So let me make a different layer and just put it a little different color. And that'll give him kind of a shadow. So let's push this ear back so it looks like an ear and uh, tilt it back. Now it looks like he's actually listening in for something and uh, using his sonar. And uh, now let me copy that ear completely and bring it over here. And it's not tilted the same way, but that's how I'm going to keep it, because it makes more natural look. Alright, and uh, next, let me go to the wings. And uh, he has sort of this, like, over-top outline of blue over top of his purple wings. So let me go ahead and build the structure of his wing real quick. And uh, this is the second part. Alright, and uh, that looks good. And let me do the third part. And bear with me, right now this looks nothing like a Zubat wing, but it will in time. Like, this is the process of building. I'm just, I've never built a Zubat before, I'm just figuring it out as I go along. So let me go ahead and hold T and rotate this. Uh, what I did was I held T down while I was on the rotate tool, and I was able to select the exact point that I wanted to rotate it from. And uh, that's how I use the rotate tool. It's a big help. Alright, let's see. And uh, right now his wings look like a butterfly, <laughs> but it won't in time. Let me just mess around with it and see what I can do to make it look like an actual Zubat wing. Alright, let's pull this up, pull that up. And it still doesn't look like a Zubat wing, but bear with me. The, the point of building is just messing around till something looks good. That's honestly how it is. Uh, I've never built a Zubat before. But I'm going to try my best to make it look as good as I can. And let me go ahead and do that. Alright. And uh, let's make an outline over here. But he doesn't have a blue outline underneath his wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this purple once I get the exact shape of the wing that I want. So let me push this down. And there we go. And see, now it's starting to look a little bit more like an actual Zubat wing. So let me pull this out because he has an outline right there. And uh, let me pull this over here. Do he have three on his wings? I don't know if he has three on his wings. Let me double check to be sure. He does not. Okay, so let me delete that. And uh, let's now connect the rest of this purple underskin to his actual body. And now we're actually starting to look like a Zubat wing. So let me go ahead and grab this. And what I'm going to do is use the Reflect tool. I have this plugin. It's very helpful. I'll put it in the description below. 
and the reflect tool will reflect the exact same thing that you've selected on whichever side you pick. And uh, that's what I just did, and then I deleted the body. I used the body as a reference to make sure that I had it equal on both sides. Now let's go ahead and add the legs real quick. And uh, they're not quite legs, they're like little hanging... <laughs> I have no clue what to call them, but uh, they uh, let's basically... Uh, they're a part of him. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, and I'm also gonna mess with the mouth real quick. Because uh, I didn't like the shape before. It looks more like he has an open mouth. And that outline does not look right. Let me do zero point, or point zero 0.01 to make it just right on the outline there. Give it enough to pop. And uh, that looks a lot more like a Zubat mouth. Let's go ahead and add the teeth next. And he has really small teeth, like big for his size, but really small compared to anything else. So let me go ahead and make small teeth right here. And uh, let me go ahead. He has four of them, so let me put that like that. Put that there. And uh, let me turn them inward a little bit more so it looks like he's brushing his mouth, opening his mouth up wide to... Uh, snatch you up. <laughs> so let me go ahead and uh, turn that there and um, it doesn't, it looks like eyes, it looks like four eyes, he looks like a heartless so let me go ahead and turn these teeth here inward and uh, that looks better, that looks like he's actually biting but I'm not sure if I quite, I made it exactly the way I want to so let me go ahead and mess with the teeth a little bit and uh, this is all a part of building, like if you're not sure about something, you can always mess around with it a little bit more. Like, it looks like I'm done, but I want to see and make sure I get the best looking uh, Zubat I can. So I'm messing around with it. And uh, he looks pretty good, actually. I think I'm satisfied. So let me get his wing and put it in a more uh, unique position to make him look like he's actually... Oh, I forgot a brick. Hold on. Let me grab that brick and... Uh, what I'm doing is I'm turning the wing to make it look like he's actually flying instead of he's just spreading out his wings and levitating for some reason. And uh, let me do that for the other one. So I'm pushing this back to make it look like he's actually flying. But to give him more natural, I hate to do symmetry on both sides, so let me push it back further. So one wing is further back than the other one. It gives him more of a natural feel like he's actually flying. And uh, these little guys... These guys are uh, pushed back because of the momentum of his, uh, his flight or, and the movement, and I think we just made a Zubat. Let me go ahead and select him, make him a model, and bring him forward, and let's give him a look real quick after I make him a model, and name him, and look around, make sure I got everything See if there's anything I want to fix. Oh, let me see. There's a little hole in his wing right there. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. And there we go. And uh, I like the back of his ears, actually. It gives him a bit personality, a bit of personality. So I think that's it. We have ourselves a Zubat. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these videos. And uh, this has been Mackimon signing off. Later.